So this is the shell of 77. It's a, it's a strong monocoque. Rear wheel goes in here. You've got a, a rollover hoop that goes up just behind the rider's head. You've got a front roll rollover hoop. So the, the lid sits on here, but the lid is non-structural. Inside, you've got a hull that goes all the way down. That supports the rear wheel mount there. That goes down all the way to the front, and then you can see the bulkhead at the front that the, the front mechanicals clip into. You've got a four-point harness in here. So the rear mounts are here on M8 bolts. The front bolts, uh, it's a roll harness. It's not M8, it's slightly bigger. I think it's, it's maybe 5 sixteenths. Um, these are just these are just velcroed on just to keep them out of the way. So these are the components that go in the shell. There's the rear wheel that's got a speed sensor on it. There's the carbon seat that that locates into these two um, slots on the front, and then you've got two bolts at the rear that fix it down into the shell. Uh, this is the front end mechanical. So you've got an 80 tooth chain ring on a standard square taper bottom bracket. Um, the drive goes up to, it's an 11 speed hub that's been reduced to nine speeds across here. Uh, the secondary drive that goes down to the front wheel. Uh, the front wheel is, it's two six bolt spacing. So a, di a 180 mil disc on the far side and then a well, this is currently a 24 tooth sprocket and it's going to get reduced to a 17 tooth sprocket in Battle Mountain. Uh, sprung um, chain tensioner up this end. And you can see on this side, it's a mechanical uh, disc on a 180 mil rotor. Uh, all TRP components, which I really like. Um, and then uh, uh, this is all, there's a, time trial bike head tube built into here and then you've got gears on this side down and up so that's controlled by your left hand and then the brake lever is controlled by the right hand the mechanicals bolt into the bike so so this um, plate at the front has got four bolt fixings that attach into the bulkhead there's two fixings here that attach into the top of the bike and then these two fixings attach to the hull so the two lower fixings go into these mounting points here the two upper fixings go into those and then you can see the four bolt fixings into the front bulkhead uh, that's the rear wheel mounted into position this is the rear wheel cover into place with the breathing tube hose coming off the top of it. So this is the seat fitted, bolted in, harnesses go over the top of it with adjustment at the back to tighten them up. You've got the breathing hose coming off the back of the wheel cover and that goes to this that squirts, it, squirts the air back into my face. This is the lid for the top of the bike. It's outside and inside. We've got the holes where the wire comes through for the video system. The two mounting points for the screen on either side. I mean, it is strong this, but there's no, um, it's not meant to be structural. And that's it sat on the bike. So it's just in Battle Mountain, it's just going to be taped on all the way around. There's no mechanical locking device on it. So this is the camera. It's two two drone cameras. The main camera is the top one. The second one is the backup camera. That's got wires out of it. That attaches onto the shell there. I haven't got this connected up at the moment because it's ready to go in the crate. But that's how it works on top of the bike. So this is the video screen system that goes inside. You've got a 10 inch main screen and a five inch backup screen. Each is two completely independent systems. Each one's got its own uh, switch to turn the power on and off and then you've got two independent lipo batteries on the back the bigger one for the main system and the smaller one for the backup screen <laughs> 